Hello everyone, welcome to Friday's Snap Take. This is Glazer of Snap Judgments, the official podcast of Marvel Snap Zone. Last night we recorded an awesome episode with Tucker and Lil Robitussin, so make sure you check that out. It's a wide-ranging discussion I think you'll really enjoy. But what we have today is my No Hand and a No Hand Redux deck. We've got Silver Samurai decks coming out everywhere. We've also got Bootman's Silver Samurai Hella decks. So make sure you stay tuned to check those out. I think that we have Samurai meta decks. In fact, I know we do because this No Hand Redux deck beats both Silky Smooth in our testing and beats the crap out of the Brood Me deck. So please stay tuned. The Brood Me uh, full deck guide will be coming soon. But the other thing we're doing is we're trying to break the meta and beat meta decks. It has a harder time against the Leech deck, but we'll talk about how and why as we go through. Bootman also hit an infinity ticket with his Samurai Hella deck, so we're going to talk about that as well. Before we go there, I'd like you to hit subscribe and like and comment this video. What we do on this channel is we find you decks that keep you ahead of the meta before anyone else has them, before anyone else knows about them every single weekday, at least two decks, very often more. These decks can help you get infinite, they can help you get your infinity borders, and we do our very best to try and help you reach your goals in Marvel Snap. So please hit that sub button, we'd really appreciate it. That's not the only reason you should sub though. We are also doing the single biggest giveaway in Marvel Snap. You're gonna see a lot of creators giving away 10 season passes right now. Uh, the Marvel Snap Creator Program has given its members, including me, uh, 10 season pass codes or is giving us 10 season pass codes to give away the way i've decided to do that is all you have to do is subscribe like and comment i'm going to pull a winner from every day's video basically from yesterday until the announcement of winners 9 15 i was originally giving away at least five season passes now i'm giving away at least 15 season passes and we're still doing the extra um season pass for every 200 subscribers we're already almost at sixth season pass let's see how high we get it all you have to do is sub and comment and yes you can comment on a video every day for more entries make sure you don't miss out on to the first deck Ooh, i lied i'm trying to make sure i'm better at deck credit i'm usually pretty good at deck credit but i'm trying to make sure i'm better at deck credit i think people put a lot of work into their decks and when we don't give credit we're sort of dishonoring their work and yes simultaneous creation happens and yes um sometimes a deck is only one or two cards different you can't properly credit it's not about being perfect it's about honoring people's work and honoring what they put into trying to help people out trying to share their creations give you more people to follow more people to learn from so the first deck for this for today is just my deck um that's all it is. I created it. It's a complete homebrew. It didn't exist before I made it. Um, I don't think anyone else has it. I haven't seen it anywhere else. You're on the YouTube. Hopefully you fit sub by now after the previous two sales pitches. We're also on Twitter.com at SnapJudgeCast. Please check us out there as well. The second deck is Bootman's. Bootman MSTZ is one of our biggest supporters. Phenomenal human being. Wouldn't be here doing this without him. He's helped us so much. He's been on the podcast like five different times. Uh, he's on YouTube at Bootman MSTZ and on Twitter at Bootman MSTZ. So make sure you check him out, show him some love and tell him we sent you because he's done so much for us. Uh, returning the favor would be nice. The first deck, this is actually not really the first deck. This is the one I made like as a theory craft right away. Um, I call this No Hand. It was my original theory craft of Silver Samurai, and a bunch of people watched my video from two days ago where I theory crafted Silver Samurai decks, then took this deck out there and absolutely crushed with it. This deck is really, really great for a lot of reasons. I broke it down in that video if you want to check it out. Um, literally go two videos, three videos back on this channel to the Is Silver Samurai Worth It video. Spoiler, yes. Um, and you will find this deck broken down for you. This deck was struggling a little bit with things that went over the top of it, and it was struggling a little bit with, um, what you call it? And it was struggling a little bit with the um, Rude Me deck. So I went back and tried to figure it out. You can play this deck exactly as is. I think what I'm trying right now with this version of the deck, by the way, is I'm playing Modoc instead of Black Bolt. Instead of Swarm, I'm playing Wolverine. 
And I'm seeing how that feels as so because I can Modoc last turn and get rid of a bunch of Dakin shards and then Modoc with like um a Wolverine, a stature, so on in a single lane is going to win a fair number of games of snap, right? The other thing you can do, um, you can get Wong to get a bunch of Dokken shards to make a really huge Dokken. You can use Dokken Absorb Man for a really huge Dokken. You can use Samurai and Wong to ruin their hand. You can use Samurai, Wong, and Absorb Man to ruin their hand, etc., etc. A lot of powerful things to do. And if you don't want something simpler for Black Bolt, you can just change it for Shang. I think Black Bolt is wrong, is ultimately what I'm coming down to for this exact thing. Okay. This is the new version. This version is more expensive. I'm sorry. But... Lady Deathstrike with Forge absolutely, absolutely destroys the um, Brood decks. So what you want to do here, what I've been doing here, is I've been um, in that matchup playing a normal early game and then going Wong into something like Colleen and Forge on turn 4, and then I Deathstrike out there, absorbing that lane on turn 5, and from there I've just got so much more power than him. I've now got a um, 10 power... Uh, Lady, sorry, excuse me. A uh, yeah, ten power. Sorry, it's still showing the old numbers and it's breaking my brain. A ten power lady death strike in a lane, and I can just drop all the power last turn. Um, if I've gotten my docking out on three, I can like play a samurai and something else for that, right? Or the Colleen will discard the um, swarms and give me a bunch of swarms to play, and I have all these options for what to do. Some replacements. X-23 can be Wolverine. You're going to lose something in the deck. What you're really losing is the play of Colleen into X-23 on 2, which lets you play your Wong early. Getting a Wong out on 3 is important for the deck. Uh, but it's still completely playable without that. Lady Deathstrike can be Stature, Bulldog, or Black Bolt. Ultimately, I suggest you play the other version of the deck if you don't have um, Lady Deathstrike. But you must have Dokken and Silver Samurai. Luckily, Silver Samurai is still in Spotlight Caches, and Dokken is $9.99. So hopefully you have grabbed him, and you have the ability to play this deck. All right, turn by turn. We've got like five different turn by turns. This deck is all about options. You're basically always passing one, unless you are absolutely sure, Conquest, think, uh, that you want to kill Monger on three, and against a Thanos deck you might. That's the only time you're really playing anything on turn one. Um, then on turn two, you can forge and then forge into docking. You have a seven power docking. You double it into 14. That's plenty. You don't need any shenanigans. But you can also absorbing man that docking. And then you can have a nice, easy 28 power docking. Right? Seems good. Um, then you samurai, which is going to hopefully chuck one of your shards. Chucks one of your shards. Your docking is 14. Again, be careful of Shang-Chi. Then you can Colleen shard X-23 with Killmonger. Or and do like 15 different things, right? You as long as you're um getting rid of that shard, you can play whatever else you want at the end and dominate. It's so strong. I strongly urge you to play this. You could also spend your turn five dropping um X23 with um X23 and then other cards, and then last turn you can just um Colleen and Samurai, right? You're losing some Samurai Disruption. That's going to discard the two shards. Your uh, Colleen and Samurai are still a 9 power last turn. You've still got an Absorbing Man if you put that in that lane. That's a 14 power lane and a 28 uh, power lane. Again, pretty nice, right? This deck has a lot of plays along those. Other major plays. Pass, Zabu, or Colleen attacks 23, and Wong. That's like my ideal play for the deck. Turn 3, Wong. Turn 4, Dakin. Then you can Absorbing Man or Killmonger. Um, if you drop Killmonger on Wong with X-23 out, you get plus two energy for that last turn. And you can Colleen, and then last turn, because you have Zebu, you can both Absorbing Man and Samurai. So you can end up basically discarding a thousand cards from your hand or their hand. This deck, by the way, has been absolutely hilarious against them. Because you just discard their whole hand, and the Devil Dinosaur sitting there is a very sad three power. You also could just sometimes Samurai out their deep Devil Dino, which works pretty well too. Next up, you've got a very similar uh, play pattern. You pass Zebur Colleen into X23 Wong, and then you Silver Samurai. Doing this will often net you an energy and then two um, swarms, two zero cost swarms. So you will have six energy going into the next turn and two free swarms. Then you can Absorbing Man to get rid of two more of their cards, or drop Killmonger for another weekly plus two energy, 
or you can that turn play Colleen into uh Dakin, excuse me, into that Wong, and then Colleen off those last two cards. Then turn six, you play whatever's left. This is a deck that plays America a reasonable amount of the time on the last turn, just because you're like ahead and just want that extra big power card. Another play. We never run out of plays with this deck. This deck has so many options. This is for those of you who really want to think when you play. Turn one, pass. Turn two, same thing. Turn three, Wong. Turn four, uh, Colleen, hopefully into X Men 3 or Swarm. Then you forge. Forge into Death Strike. Your Death Strike is now killing anything nine at power or less. Enjoy. And whatever's left, you can just Absorbing Man to copy a Death Strike and kill a bunch of their stuff um, if you would like to. It works really well. Um, like an Absorbing Man and um, whatchamacallit. Turn. Um, an Absorbing Man and at this point, Silver Samurai turn. It's still 10 power last turn, and you're killing a bunch of stuff on their side. Finally, you can pass Zabu or Colleen into X23. Snap. Wong. Dakin. Colleen plus a shard plus forge. And then you death strike off whatever you want. Your Dakin is now going to be eight. You've got um a nice powerful Wong there, right? Sorry, um, no, excuse me, it's more. It's uh your Dakin is 16 and your death strike is killing everything 10 and less. So you win that way. That's there's like a thousand more slight alterations to this that all work. This deck is sick. It's absolutely sick and worth playing. And I strongly urge you to try it. It's um like it's really, really, really strong into the um into the brood stuff, right? It beats Silky Smooth because it just gets bigger and Death Strike eats their whole board pretty easily. And they don't Dokken is not a strong target until too late. Its only problem matchup has been the Leech deck, and even that's a really close matchup. You really, really want to try to um, discard a lot of their hand with that deck. If they're running both Cosmo and Armor, it can be annoying, but if you can get out a Wong into um, into Silver Samurai, or a uh, Silver S Samurai into a, an Absorbing Man, you're often like chucking their She-Hulk and then a lot of their shenanigans really just don't work. Their last turn then is really just dropping that one big card and you should be able to outpower the rest of their board. Like, uh, we were managing earlier, I played with some with Elite Hasa too, so we discarded a like 16 power Hulk to the point where the last card they had on the last turn of the game was only uh, an Infinite because they were playing one with Hulk and Infinite. And it's just like, all right, well, I could just beat Infinite if you're ahead in every lane. Infinite's only one card, right? You win. So you play it that way, and you can still win even through Leech, even through everything else. Not a bad matchup, but it's not as good as the other two. So those are like the three major meta decks right now, and this has a really positive matchup into all of them. I hope you check the deck out. I hope you have a Lady Death Strike, and I can't blame you if you don't, right? Um, but I think this is a meta deck right now, and hopefully the changes that we offered were enough for you. All right, our next deck is... Bootman's Hella Samurai. This deck is really cool. Um, again, played with Hasa. I played it a bit on my own. The only change I made was I changed Wolverine for um, I changed Wolverine for leader, and Hasa changed. Um, well, it was Hasa's suggestion, but uh, Maria Hill eventually became um, became Mirage, but like. That's fine. You're fine playing it just like this. Bootman already got an Infinity Border and like three Infinity Tickets with it. This deck has been crushing for numerous people. It's really, really, really good. Uh, Stature is the only high series card in the deck besides Samurai. You obviously need Samurai. It's a Samurai deck. Stature cannot be changed for Jeff, but I'm kidding. Uh, I'd probably play Dokken in that spot. You could also just throw Leader in that spot just fine. Stature is, however, very, very good in this deck. It has a lot of discard. It's a samurai deck. You should probably be playing the samurai. By the way, if you don't have um, stature or Dokken, then I would go. Uh, and sorry, and you want to play leader, but you also don't have one of those cards. I just play a good two drop, right? Like just stick a good two in there that has reasonable power, or like a three five, something like Spider Man or Polaris make a lot of sense. All right, turn by turn plus snapping. Turn one pass. Helene, if you have Wolverine Swarm, if not Maria Hill, 
Turn three is Moon Knight or Colleen. Same strategy for Colleen if you have Wolvie or Snorb. Um, if I've got Hella at this point, this is where I'm snapping, by the way. Um, turn four, I'm playing the Silver Samurai. I'm discarding some more of their cards, as you do. And then turn five, I'm dumping and discarding what I can. If you have Hella, um, if not, I'm playing Black Bolt or Spider Woman. And then finally, turn six, uh, you're playing Hella. And if you've missed Hella, you just play everything you can. Sometimes you're Helling and Swarming, and Swarm does a really good job of making sure that like your Hella targets don't come back where you don't want. It's the deck. This deck is a really, really um, you're discarding a lot of your opponent's best stuff between Moon Knight and Silver Samurai. And if you know me, you know I really want Absorb Man in this deck. I just couldn't figure out how. Um, you're going to dominate with this deck. You're going to do really well. It's going to play really well. It goes over the top of a lot of decks. It puts a lot of power on the board in really unpredictable ways. It is not running Living Tribunal, um, so you're going to lose sometimes because Hell is stupid. We'll put things in the wrong place. But short of that, you're going to end up with a happy person with a very very powerful day so i urge you to try it all right that's this morning's video we'll see if we're coming back later today i haven't decided if we're doing an afternoon video either which way though there will be a video releasing sunday morning hopefully you're ready for that as always like comment sub remember that enters you in the giveaway we appreciate you don't forget to check out our friend bootman we'll see you tomorrow for another snap take and hopefully either later today or tomorrow for the snap judgments podcast Peace, everybody.